Welcome to episode three of the build series. This week, we're going to be building the bed platform for the pop-up truck camper. And we're going to be mostly focusing on getting a nice, strong surface in between the beams. But we're also going to work on building a little recess for the shark fin antenna, since that sticks up a little high over the top of the Tacoma. And then we're also going to curve the front beam a little bit, just for a more aesthetically pleasing look. All right, let's get into it. So last week we had left off by finishing the build for the actual beams that run and support the bed frame area. So we had made essentially like a rectangular box that went over the top of the truck. So kind of a cantilevered system there. We had really focused on trying to make those beams very lightweight. We could have gotten a, a long, big beam, like a two by eight by 10, but those things are really heavy. And so instead we had constructed essentially a, a beam with truss support in the middle of it, packed in with foam to try to keep the weight down. The total weight of this truck camper is 340 pounds, everything together. Maybe on another build, we'll get it even lighter, but we were pretty happy with that. And it did take a fair amount of foam to try to replace some of the wood to even get it to where it is there. So you can see the beams up and over the top of the truck. And as you come to the front of the truck here, you can see how right now we have a really straight board in the front of it. And the top of the Tacoma, the cab, really curves. And so when you look at that beam, it looks like it's really close to the center. And then there's a little bit more of an arch on, on either side away from the beam. To try to get a nice front appeal, we wanted to go ahead and make that curve a little bit. So we brought that front piece down to the wood shop and we measured to make a little curve and then we sanded it away until it fit the shape that we were looking for. Then we brought everything back up into the garage and we started screwing things together. Starting with some pilot holes and then putting some, some long kind of deck screws into that section. We screwed the front board into the side beams and we screwed the side beams into the back so you can see that as you look at it from the side here, you can see the end grains of the front, but you can't see the end grains of the back. The back one's a little bit shorter. We end up cutting it down so that it fit in between the side beams. All right, now it's turned a little bit here so you can see a different angle as we're screwing things in. You can also see a little bit of the curve that we had created here in that front board. At this point, the beams are not officially attached to the frame that goes on the truck bed walls. Instead, we just have it clamped down. So you'll see the clamps are just kind of holding things in place at this point. Um, this is a fairly modular build. And so each of the four walls, the side walls and the back and door wall, they all are screwed into each other with nuts and bolts, essentially, in an aluminum angle. And so you can take those apart. And then we will do a similar thing with the beams for the bed frame, but we're not at that stage quite yet. So after we had gone through getting the beams attached to each other, we had to make another quick run to Menards for some more wood and supplies. And then we were back down in the wood shop again. In the wood shop, we were gonna start by cutting a few narrower pieces of wood that, that were gonna be supports for the bed platform. And after we had those cut to the length that we needed, we were back up in the garage so that we could clamp those pieces of wood into place before we glued them in. As mentioned in previous build videos, we used a type on two glue for most of this because that's what we needed to use for the poor man's fiberglass and it works just as well on the wood. So we went ahead um, and used that throughout the project. You may see a couple different bottles. We were refilling bottles from a big jug and so they might not all have the right label. After we had the little pieces of wood clamped in and glued on, we did also add a few nails. So you can see we have an air nailer there to really try to keep those in place and help them not shift around. Wiping up a little bit of glue that spilled out as they're clamped. Um, tried to use enough glue that we really had good surface area glued together. And so then when you clamp it tight, it does drip a little bit. So here you can see them in place. As we go around here, you can also see a, a center piece of wood clamped in, but that one is not officially put in yet. We're gonna build a specific center beam that goes around the truck antenna when we get to that part. At this point, we took a quick break as one of my Amazon orders had arrived. I had ordered a set of mounting clamps for the Toyota Tacoma. They're specifically designed with a lower block that fits in the cargo rail that comes standard on the bed of the Toyota Tacomas. 
And then it has an upper block that a bolt fits through and you can tighten down so that it can attach things to the top of the walls of your truck bed. So I was gonna use these to go ahead and attach the truck camper to the Toyota Tacoma itself. This order is a set of four, and you can see as we're putting it on the truck here how they fit. At first, it really didn't look like there was going to be enough overlap between the upper block and the lower block. We did later problem solve this by recessing them a little bit into the wood of the wall board, so the bottom board on the sidewalls. Uh, but also, I've noticed that over time, the wood is compressed a little bit, and I have plenty of overlap when those are tightened down nice and tight. But here we are just trying them out for the first time and seeing how they're going to work. And then I did also go ahead and purchase a second set of four so that I had three total on either side, plus two spares in case anything broke. And so I brought those with on my road trips. But so far, so good. They've been holding really nice and everything has been nice and secure. So if you're looking for an attachment for something similar, I don't know that these are necessarily designed for a DIY truck camper, but they are made for installation of various things that would sit on the top of your truck bed walls. I'll put the link for those in the description for this video. So if you guys are interested in them, you can find them on Amazon. I am an Amazon affiliate. I don't know that I can put affiliate links in this video yet, but ultimately it could turn into a, a link as my channel has been around longer. And so with that, I just need to disclose that I can earn from qualifying purchases if you purchase something through my link on Amazon. Once we had the frame, the wall frame, attached back onto the truck camper, this time with those new mounting clamps that we had just purchased, we went ahead and we put the frame for the bed platform back on the truck. Again, we we're just clamping that into place so that everything was secure, but you can see how that's all sitting on the truck currently. We were aiming for a couple inches of clearance over the cab of the truck and things were looking good so far. Again, this is a fairly modular build, so each of the four walls on the base of it do come apart and they're attached with the angle aluminum. And then we did make it so that we can take off the bed support as a separate unit. And that just keeps it so that it's a little bit more manageable for two people to take on and off of the truck. Ultimately, we may make some support so we can lift it up and over, but right now we've been doing it by hand with the two of us. After we had the rectangular frame of the bed support up and on the truck, then we went ahead and cut a couple pieces of wood that we were gonna to use to support the middle of the bed platform. We had to have two pieces of wood, one on either side of the shark fin antenna so that that antenna could stick up a little bit between them. We had a couple inches of clearance with that frame over the top of the truck cab, but that shark fin antenna stuck up a little bit past it. So instead of making the whole thing taller, we made a little recessed area for the shark fin to stick up into. In the middle of that, I worked on getting some plywood measured so that we could cut that for the bed platform. And then dad cut a couple of shorter cross section pieces of wood to help frame out the shark fin. That way we could recess that easier by having a full frame for it. And then we used an air nailer to keep those in place. A little dangerous to be air nailing on the top of your truck, but everything went well. After we had that all nailed in, then it was time to cut a little bit of the aluminum angle that we were gonna use up on the top there, do a little more measuring. And then we were back to working on cutting some of the plywood. So we put the plywood up on a couple of two by fours here to get enough clearance for the saw to go through. And again, this piece of plywood we are cutting to be part of the bed platform support. We ended up lifting it up onto a couple of saw horses to get a little bit better clearance and angle for cutting. A few adjustments were made to get the right angle and measurement. After cutting, we went ahead and did a little bit of test fitting. So we brought it out to the truck and tried it out and then brought it out to make the rest of the cuts. Just like for the wall design for the bed platform, we also used a piece of plywood on either side of the framing. So we're gonna have two pieces of plywood, one for the top, one for the bottom. We're gonna sandwich some foam in between and then we are going to hollow out that space for the shark fin. Another test fitting as we brought the piece of plywood up. We're getting closer to having what we need. I did end up having to do a little bit of sanding. You can see him doing there in the background for a perfect fit. And then we put the second piece in for another test fit. Also just a little bit tight. Needed to take off just a tiny bit more to get the perfect fit. Now we're back to the aluminum angle that we're gonna use on the frame to secure it to the side walls and the door and back wall. Here you can see how the plywood fits in there. 
and then we're going to test fit some of the angle. We did cut it at like a, we cut a 45 degree angle on the edges so that they would sit against each other. After we did a little bit of cutting of the aluminum angle, we were back working on getting the plywood glued onto the frame that we had made for the bed platform. You'll notice that this bed platform is not a full size bed where I could sleep on it just as is. I could if I curled up, but it's only the width of the truck, which is roughly five feet, a little less on the inside of that frame. We nailed down the edges to really keep it nice and secure. But ultimately what the bed design is gonna be is there's a pull out section so that you can get a full queen size bed up there. But without that pull out, this is just the part that is permanent and in place. Took it off, flipped it over so that we could finish working through some of the framing. We're gonna put those two pieces of wood in that work on either side of the shark fin. And then we started putting in some of the one inch foam that we use again for both structural support and for uh, insulation on that. Sanded it down so that glue would adhere a little bit better and then made the piece of foam that fits in the middle of those two pieces of wood, leaving that one section empty so that the shark fin can go up into it. After we had the pieces of foam sanded, it was time for a lot more glue. We squirted the glue on and then used scrapers to kind of try to spread it out and even it so that everything has good glue contact. And I forget if I've said it in this build video, but this is all a tight bond to glue. After we had all the glue spread out, I put in that center wood piece. Tried to get that really nice and centered. We got all the pieces of foam in. After the foam was on, it was time to put a bunch of glue on top of the foam. We resorted to just pouring it right out of the big jug this time. It was so much glue. And then spread all that out again so that we had a good, well, well spread glue surface to glue the plywood to. Then we put that plywood piece in. We tried to mark where the recess was going to be for the shark fin so that we could find it after we had the plywood on. Had to do a little bit of sanding on the edge of the plywood to get it to fit in nice and easy. Once we had that perfect fit, we got it down. Use some nails, again, the air nailer there, in order to go ahead and get everything secured. And then drew the area where that shark fin recess was gonna be so that we could route that out. So here we're drilling into the wood so that we can route the area that the shark fin's gonna go. So again, here you can see that we just went right up to the edges of what we had gotten framed for that recess. After we had that complete, it was back down to the wood shop, cutting a little bit more wood and then working a little bit on those aluminum angle pieces. We had to drill holes into these so that we could screw them in place, similar to how we had done onto the lower walls. Very nice to have a drill press to do this with. We test fit those screws to make sure we had the right size and it turns out it was just a little bit small. So we went ahead up to the size of the, the drill that we were using and then kept going. There, perfect fit. Back up in the garage, we had the plywood gluing and we wanted to put a little bit of support underneath the piece of plywood that was on the bottom of the frame that we had already put inside. So earlier in this video, we had put that strip of wood right around inside of the beam supports. And so one piece of plywood was sitting on top of that and the other piece of plywood was sitting on the bottom of that. And so for a little extra added support, we wanted to add another strip of wood. So we had those in there. Um, then of course, because we added that piece of wood, it was the perfect height to fit around the uncurved pieces of the beam, but that front cross beam we had made curved so we had to do a little bit of sanding to get everything flush and in the same curvature and these strips of wood were really thin um, they were just to add a little bit more reassurance that that plywood wouldn't sink down we nailed the thin strips into place so they were glued and nailed and we put this around all four sides so here you can see that little strip and we ended up sanding all four sides in addition to the curved front so that they were all nice and level. 
And then it was time to test it out. So we put it back up on the truck and clamped it down and I crawled up to sit on the bed platform. And happily, everything held. It was a little bit of flex up on that bed platform. Now we were still gonna go ahead and do the poor man's fiberglassing over it. And so that would help provide a little bit of support too. But it's always a little bit intimidating to try sitting on a structure that you built for the first time, especially one that we were using new techniques with and trying to keep so lightweight. So now that we have the bed platform built, we're gonna wrap up this episode of the build series. And next week, we're gonna start working on building the roof for the truck camper. As always, I've been enjoying sharing this build series with you and have really appreciated each of you who've left comments or likes or subscribed to the channel. And please let me know if there's any details you'd like to know more about. Thanks again for tuning in to Wander with Kate. Have a great week.